So today's March for Science was about sending a message that science is something people are passionate about and they're willing to come out and get together on a Saturday to send that message to politicians that we care about science and that we want evidence-based policy in science and in everything else that we do. People here today had a huge number of uh, different ideas they wanted to talk about. One of them is that we need strong funding for science, that our research organisations, both our universities and our industry-driven organisations like the CSIRO are critical for our future as a society and as a country. If we want to be economic leaders in the future, then we're going to have to move on from uh, fossil fuels as being one of our key um, economic drivers and move to an um, economy based on science and technology and intellectual property. The issues that we're dealing with in science and around the world, they can't be reduced down to simple slogans and catchphrases. We need to be able to have really clear and respectful discussions. Um, you know, we're not going to agree on everything with everybody, and certainly scientists don't agree on everything together. But we need to get on the same page in terms of our facts and our understanding of the world. That you know, We need to all agree that climate change is real and it's happening. And then we can have the separate but important discussion on how best to respond to that because that's a lot less clear-cut what policies you use what technologies you use and we should be having those sort of discussions not the discussions about whether or not vaccines really work